Hiya, in this video I'm taking a look at this tent. It's a two-person backpacker tent from Mountain Warehouse. The tent comes in its own little carry bag and it's an olive green colour. We've got an inner tent, a set of poles, some pegs and the fly sheet. So there's two sets of poles and they come with shock cord. They're made from lightweight aluminium and they measure no longer than 55 centimeters when packed away, which is quite important when you're considering putting this tent on your bike. So there's a long one for the head end and this short one for the foot end. These are the lightweight tent pegs. There's 22 of them. Very lightweight, a nice sharp point. Quite impressed with those. Let's see how they get on. One. Two. Three. Four. So the first thing I've noticed is that this has got a very nice heavy duty ground sheet, quite a thick gauge. So I'm already quite impressed with that. Let's have a look now at these poles. They're gonna go through here. There's a little pin for locating these in position. And this is up at the head end. That pin goes up into the pole. So there's the inner tent laid out, pegged at the four corners with the two poles. Have a look at the fly sheet. It's quite a robust, tough material. And on the inside, it's got a reflective silver coating. So I think that's sort of a thermal property to help reflect the heat back into the tent. So this is the shape of the tent. It's got an extremely low profile. It's sort of flat and squished, pushed down. Now they're advertising this as a two-man tent, but uh, it doesn't look particularly long. Well, I've managed to put the tent up pretty quickly and I've got two tent pegs left over. And I think actually I was supposed to use these for pinning down where the poles go in on the inner tent, which I'll show you in a minute. Let's have a look inside. So as far as these two leftover tent pegs are concerned, I think that they were meant to be used just down here where the pole is coming down. And I'm wondering if I'm supposed to put them in there. And one on the other side. So the tent has two doors accessible from either side, which is a nice feature. Um, it rolls back over the top of the inner, so if it was raining or there was moisture on this outer fly sheet, there's a potential that it could drop down onto this inner sheet here. So let's have a look at the inner. It has a double zip system. Right, I'm inside and my feet are jammed up against the end there. I have got pretty big feet and they're pushing up against the, the inner fly. Um, if I lay down flat, I've only just got enough room to lay flat, so perhaps I really need to go on a little bit of a diagonal. Um, that really isn't very long, that's only just long enough for me. Um, now this is advertised as a two-person tent, but to be honest, there isn't a huge amount of room either side of me. Um, not much more than my Zephros 1, so uh, yeah, it could be quite a cosy fit if you had somebody else in here. Up the head end here are two pockets for stowage and another two over this side. I must say, I do like this ground sheet. It looks robust. It's quite thick. Okay, this is the other door on the other side. So this is a nice little area 
uh, on the other side to stow a little bit of kit. The fly is touching my face on the top of my head here, so there's not a lot of headroom at all in this tent, and it's sort of sloping down quite steeply. So there is a little bit of area here if I want to stow kit or perhaps um, get, prepare a little bit of food outside, but I don't really think that that's a safe enough distance to be able to have a burner in here, not without having the fly fully open. I wouldn't risk that. Look, have a look at this. So, so from here you can see just how much this is sagging here. Quite a big gap. So this is the pole. So here's the pole and the fly is just sat on top. And the inner is being supported by that. But look, look at this dip, quite a dip. So I noticed there's a couple of ties here which I presumed were for when you roll the outer fly door and you want to just sort of stop it falling closed. But maybe I'm supposed to use these and tie the inner to the fly. Let me try that now. Well, I'm not entirely sure that that's right either because all it's done is it's hitched this point up, but it's still sagging down in the middle. Maybe that's not a problem. So my first impressions are the materials that they've used for this tent look really good, good quality really, considering the price. It does look durable, it looks very well manufactured, the zips are good, and uh, I quite like the construction of this head end. There's certainly space around here, um, no room to sit up at all. I'm sort of leaning on my elbow and my head's already touching the top, so it's very low profile. Um, not so keen about the foot end, that really is quite tight. Um, and I think if there was two of you in here, you know, you, your feet would be jammed up that bottom end. Not a lot of room down there. And I am a little bit concerned about this sagging inner, but who knows, maybe, maybe that's not a problem for the amount of time that I'm going to be spent in the tent. Well, I'm six foot three, and that is a bit of a tight squeeze inside. So I just want to check the overall dimensions now with this tape measure. Well, it's not particularly scientific, but I would estimate that the overall dimension is two meters 60 on the outside. I'm just going to measure the inside now. So I'm measuring from down there at my feet, along here, and I think that says about two meters 25. So although it says two meters 25, that it's not really taking into account the fact that the angle of the inner is quite sharp angling down. So I can't really put my foot right to the very end without pushing up on the inner and equally on my head. You know, um, if I lay my head about here, it's not contact with the inner, and there's a few centimeters above my head, but there we go. Officially, 225 according to my tape measure. And if I measure from the highest point to the ground, I'm measuring just under 80 centimeters. I think that's about 78 centimeters. And finally, the width at the widest point, 140 centimeters, and narrowing down to 70 centimeters at the head and foot end. On either side of the tent, there's these two ventilation triangles. They're Velcroed down, and when you open them up, this thicker material is designed so that it would just hold it open. So I suppose if you really wanted to have some great ventilation on a really hot evening, then you could open both of these doors. So with both doors open, you can get a complete through draft through the tent from one side to the other. Nice. Right, well, okay, folks, the tent's up. I'll do a little bit of adjusting. 
and then tonight I'm gonna give it a go. I think I'll sleep out here tonight and give you my feedback tomorrow morning and see how I got on. So, until tomorrow morning, bye for now. I managed to survive the night last night in the tent here in my back garden. It was a relatively mild evening, but there was quite a lot of drizzle and showery rain passed through. It's now a very damp and overcast day here in the middle of December, but the tent performed pretty well. But one of the things I have noticed is the design of this door here. Let's take a look. So there's not too much moisture on the door, but the way that it's been designed, if I unzip this now, any of this moisture here that I don't manage to sort of brush off is liable to fall into the tented area. So you can see the moisture here, and you need to make sure that you get that off first, because as I roll this up, now this inner tent is exposed, and any moisture that doesn't run away is going to drop onto the inner. So as you can see, once you roll the door back here, any moisture that you haven't directed off the fly sheet has a tendency to drop down. And this is the amount of moisture that there is on the ground sheet already. So on a wet day, that could be a bit of a concern. You don't want your kit getting wet. I also noticed that there is an awful lot of moisture on the inside of the fly sheet due to condensation. Let's have a look at that. I'm not sure if you can see it with this camera. There's actually quite a lot of condensation here, which I'm a little bit surprised at, and it's dripping onto the inner. So if I do that, I don't know if you can see that's surprising just how much moisture there, there is on the inside. Well, I'm not really sure why there seems to be so much condensation on the inside of the fly sheet. Perhaps it's the material or that sort of silver coating. I mean, that is usual to get some, but it means that some of this moisture is running down and dripping onto the inner tent. Now, this head end where the fly sheet is steeper, there hasn't been a problem at all. This is completely dry and um, the ground sheet has done its job. It's completely dry, no moisture has come through here. So this top end seems to be fine, but it just seems to be that lower end where the, the slope isn't quite so steep and so it's allowed that condensation to drip onto the inner tent. Um, that's not perhaps such a great design and I'm definitely not a lover of this saggy inner. Anyway, that's my brief impression from one night out in my back garden. Just to let you know that you can get it in a one, two or three person version. This is the two person version, which I'm quite pleased with. And I think if you are on the larger side, you're gonna want the bigger version. Currently Mountain Warehouse are selling this tent at 109 pounds, but with their sales that they have very regularly, it's actually been discounted down to 75 pounds. And then remember that you can always use the Mountain Warehouse discount codes, which gave me an extra 20% off. So overall, I paid just 60 pounds for this tent. And I think that's a pretty economical budget tent. So I'm really looking forward to using this tent. Just to mention a few specifications, it weighs 1.9 kilograms. It measures 55 centimeters in length and an 18 centimeter diameter one packed away. So that's worth considering when you're thinking about stowage on your bike. Right, so that's it. That's a brief demonstration and description of this two-person backpacker tent from Mountain Warehouse. Thanks ever so much for watching the video and until the next time, happy camping.